Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another exciting video. This video is intended to help you with the ideas of axial deformation, deformation or a change in shape, a change in geometry versus the idea of translation, which is kind of a fancy word for movement. So deformation, change in shape, translation, movement in space. And to explore these ideas, I want you to consider these two simple structures. So I have member AB, I have a force applied to the end of that member, and the left plane has been constrained or fixed so that it does not move. That is, it does not translate. Okay, so we want to kind of compare and contrast what is happening um, with structure AB versus structure CD, because down here, that applied force, it's still going to induce tension in the member, but these two structures are fundamentally different. Now, in order to talk about this, I made a CAD model. I'm going to flip over to that tab. And this member in the foreground, this is member AABB. And plane AA is just the last plane of this member. And I made it cylindrical. I could have made it any shape, but I just made it a cylinder. Plane AA is FIXED fixed. That means that it is going to stay attached to this reference point, this kind of orange block that I've modeled in CAD. It's not going to move. And we know that all materials deform under load. Now, the amount of the deformation, we may not be able to see it with the naked eye, but all materials deform. So here's what's going to happen to this member after we apply that force. The member is going to stretch and elongate evenly in that direction. Of course, I'm greatly exaggerating it here. I'm going to do it one more time. And note the distance between all of these cross-sectional planes. As I stretch out the solid material, the distance between those rigid cross-sectional planes increases. OK, so what we can say about this structure is that under this applied load, plane AA does not translate, but plane BB certainly does. It moves over here. OK, we could also say that the member does not translate, right? Because a member translation would be more like this. This is called rigid body movement. That's not going to happen because it's connected to the wall or this orange block via that fixed connection. OK, so the member is not translating. The member is deforming or changing shape. Specifically, it is elongating due to the presence of an axial tensile force. All right, let's compare that behavior to what's going on back here, kind of in the background. All right, so now I have the second scenario modeled. And instead of the load being applied at the end of the member, I have a similar cylinder here, but I've got a rigid plate in the middle. It's been connected to this cylinder as well as this cylinder. So perhaps there's a weld here that we don't see modeled in CAD, or maybe it's super glue or something else, some kind of epoxy to make these different pieces act as a unit. Now, the premise behind this example, I'll click back to the 2D view. So now we're essentially exploring this idea. Plane CC is still fixed can't translate, can't move. All the other planes can translate, they can move. But how, how is this deformation going to look? Let's check it out. All right. I've got my forces applied to the rigid plate. The rigid plate is connected to the cylinder. And to show you how this is going to deform, visualize it in your head first. Visualize it in your head. And while you do that, I'm just going to hide this piece of it. And I'll show you how, what that deformation will look like. 
Okay, so we're going to take this piece. It is being subjected to tension. So we will elongate that some arbitrary amount. And we see that each cross sectional plane, excluding CC, each cross sectional plane has translated to the right and the solid material has deformed, it has changed shape. All right, what about that other little piece that I hid a moment ago? I just want to unhide all, get it back. I'm going to grab it, just move it over. Okay. And what we see here is that this segment does move as a rigid body, this piece of solid material translates. It moves from left to right. Now it's constrained by its attachment to this rigid plane. All of this force is traveling through this material. See how we have stretching back here, but no stretching here. So we can make statements like this. Plane CC does not translate. Plane DD does translate, it shifted over, it moved over. Cylinder, I'll call this piece cylinder one. Cylinder one deforms, but it does not translate. Cylinder two translates, but it does not deform. It doesn't change in shape, it simply moves in space. That is the end of this video. Just wanted to give you these ideas of deformation, change in shape, translation, movement in space, and make sure you understood the difference within the context of these two simple axial problems. Thanks for tuning in.